Hi everyone, welcome to the Celebrity Diaries. George Clinton, a powerful American R&B vocalist, lyricist, and music maker, remains a transcending figure in the realm of music with a total assets of $4 million as of mid-2024. Clinton's inheritance is unpredictably attached to his momentous work with the Parliament. Funkadelic Aggregate a gathering that reformed the funk kind in the 1970 Clinton's creative virtuoso was clear in the creative components he injected into his music, known for his combination of sci-fi subjects and dreamlike humor. Clinton's work rose above conventional melodic limits. His particular style was not restricted to hear able encounters alone. His visual show was similarly striking, portrayed by hallucinogenic and eccentric style decisions that set him apart as a social symbol. The send-off of Clinton's performance vocation in 1982 checked a critical part in his melodic venture. His introduction to the two The New Independent Collection PC games was a fundamental work that left an enduring effect on the development of music. The collection's impact was especially significant on the hip bounce and G-funk types that acquired unmistakable quality in the 1990s. Tracks like Nuclear Canine became songs of devotion, reverberating as the decades progressed and highlighting Clinton's job as a visionary craftsman all through his vocation. George Clinton has been praised as a trailblazer frequently referenced in something similar breath as other funk legends like James Brown and Shrewd Stone. His commitment to the class has acquired him lofty honors, including a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Grant in 2019. This honor perceived his persevering impact and the permanent imprint he has left on the music business. Also, his acceptance into the rock and roll corridor of acclaim in 1997 further established his status as a music legend. George Edward Clinton, brought into the world on July 22, 1941, in Kannapolis, North Carolina, set out on a melodic odyssey that would reshape funk music forever, experiencing childhood in Plainfield, New Jersey. George's energy for music touched off at a youthful age. As a young person, he established a do bunch called the Parliaments, setting the stage for his momentous vocation that would unfold in the years to come. However, even as he sought after his melodic dreams, George likewise invested energy working at a neighborhood hairstyling parlor, sharpening his specialty and drenching himself in the energetic music scene of the 1950s and 1960s. Truth be told, George Clinton's affection for music and his pioneering soul drove him to lay out his own hair salon in Planfield, aptly named The Silk. Royal residents, this unassuming foundation immediately became a sanctuary for nearby performers, a spot where imagination streamed uninhibitedly and joint efforts were conceived. The Silk Castle turned into a flourishing center, humming with the energy of hopeful craftsmen, and George's presence as a strong coach and companion sustained the blossoming ability that encompassed him. The 1960s denoted a huge defining moment in Clinton's vocation when he wandered into songwriting as a staff member for the notable Mentown name, in spite of the fact that his initial endeavors at business achievement missed the mark. George encountered a forward leap with the arrival of the hit single. I need to affirm in 1967, this accomplishment combined with his prominent commitments to the game plan. Furthermore, the creation of soul music scores on different free names in Detroit established the groundwork for the development of Parliament and Funkadelic in the 1970 c Under these monikers, George Clinton and his bandmates took off to exceptional levels, overwhelming the dark music scene with a line of over 40 hit R&B singles, including three Grammys and three platinum collections during a groundbreaking period from 1971 to late 1973. Clinton and a few musicians ended up dwelling in the energetic city of Toronto, Canada. It was here that they tweaked their zapping live exhibitions and recorded their advancement collection America Eats Its Youthful. This fundamental work denoted the first appearance of the unbelievable Boosie. Collins, who might proceed to turn into a vital piece of the parliament, funkadelic aggregate, as the 191980s unfolded George Clinton confronted another arrangement of challenges, including lawful difficulties. Coming from Polygram's securing of Congress in name, Casablanca Records, in spite of these obstacles, Clinton proceeded to make music delivering a progression of solo collections that displayed the colossal ability of P-Funk center artists. Anyway, this time of his profession was defaced by monetary 
Hardships coming about because of eminence and copyright issues most strikingly with Bridgeboard Music Clinton affirmed that a large number of his accounts had been falsely procured by the organization in 1982. Another part unfurled for George Clinton as he endorsed with Capitol Records under two names his own, as a solo craftsman and the moniker P-Funk All-Stars. That very year, he delivered the noteworthy collection of PC games under his own name. The single loop Zilla taken off to the main 20 on the ER&B diagram, followed by the irresistible hymn Nuclear Canine, which asserted the sought-after number one right on target, the R&B outline, and came to a decent situation on the pop outline. George Clinton's vocation has been a dynamic, embroidered artwork of melodic coordinated efforts and innovative endeavors crossing many years and classes in 1985. His impact arrived at new levels when he delivered the super hot Stew Peppers collection, freaky styly contributing vocals, and verses to its title track regardless of introductory business, unobtrusiveness. Clinton's engrave on the collection cemented his job as a respected figure in funk music. In 1987, George Clinton's gifts were once again sought after this time for a different medium. He was enlisted to compose the signature melody for The Tracy Ullman Show, a famous TV program of the period. The outcome was the infectious and irresistible tune You're Thinking Right, which impeccably caught the essence of the show. Clinton's capacity to inject his funk sensibilities into different sorts furthermore, mediums exhibited his adaptability as a craftsman. The year 1989 denoted another achievement in Clinton's vocation as he delivered the Cinderella Hypothesis on Paisley Park, the record name claimed by the legend A.R. Sovereign. This coordinated effort showed the shared regard and adoration between two melodic symbols and the collection exhibited Clinton's imaginative virtuoso and flair for pushing melodic limits. Clinton's relationship with Paisley Park went on into the 1990s. With the arrival of Hello, Man, Smell My Finger in 1993. This collection further set Clinton's situation as a main thrust in the music business as he courageously explored different avenues regarding sound and classification end shows. Moreover, in 1994, Clinton loaned his spellbinding vocals to a few tracks on the Bass Shout Studio Collection Give Out. However, don't quit any pretense of leaving a permanent imprint on the collection's sonic scene in 1995. George Clinton paid an accolade for the notable John Lennon by performing Brain Games as a sincere respect to the unbelievable performers persevering through inheritance. This strong version exhibited Clinton's capacity to inspire feelings through his particular vocal style and his gift for translation, all through his celebrated lifetime. Clinton's music has reverberated with various craftsmen across different classes. His effect on the G Funk time was especially critical, with rapper Dr. Drew oftentimes testing Clinton's music and implanting it with a contemporary bend. Furthermore, adding to the development of the type in 2003, George Clinton took on a new job as a record mark organizer, laying out the Sea Conspire. This adventure gave a stage for a rising specialist to feature their abilities and permitted Clinton to proceed with his tradition of sustaining and supporting new abilities. Clinton's imaginative undertakings reached out past the domain of music in 2006, he made a vital visitor appearance as himself in the well-known animation organization show space Phantom Coast Adrift, adding his undeniable character and appeal to the energized series. Moreover, his appearance on the hit sitcom How I Met Your Mom in 2006 further cemented his presence in mainstream society. George Clinton's melodic venture kept on thriving in the late 2000s. He made an eminent commitment to sneak around Kanan's collection, the Blue Rug Treatment, in 2007, loaning his particular voice to the collection's presentation. That very year, Clinton filled in as an appointed authority for the free music grants, loaning his mastery and experience to help arising abilities. On September 16, 2008, Clinton delivered an independent collection named George Clinton and his Criminals of Adoration on Shashi Records. This wonderful collection overwhelmingly involved cover melodies and included a variety of visitor appearances from acclaimed specialists like Wiley Stone and L.L. DeVarge. Super Hot Bean Stew Peppers, RZA Carlos Santana, and gospel vocalist Kim Burrell, the collection exhibited Clinton's capacity to flawlessly team up with specialists from different foundations, making an embroidery of sound that paid praise to the rich history of funk music. Thanks for watching this video.